welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm so glad you found me. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it and that'll let you know when I upload new videos. And welcome back to all my returning friends. I am so glad you guys are here. Happy Friday. It's not that great of a day. I got a little bit of sun coming through, but it's been cloudy, gray, overcast all day. Early this morning we had some thunder and a little bit of rain, but it's really windy here today. Um, I didn't do any errands and running around like I normally do on Fridays. Um, not much that I need to do throughout this week though. I have been picking up yarn to make these pumpkins that I'm obsessed with. I have been having so much fun making these. I've been sharing them on Instagram, but in this video, I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial on how to crochet these. This is the itty bitty one. Um, and then they come in the medium size. And then the other one is about this size, but this is a little bit different. Um, yarn, so thicker yarn, but so you have those on there. Um, but I'm going to share with you how I make this, this little, little guy. Okay, so we're gonna make the itty bitty pumpkin. I'm gonna be using my H hook, which is the 5.5 on there. And then I have my Red Heart Super Saver yarn, and this is in cornmeal. And then you'll need stuffing to fill it with. And then I'm going to probably do, be doing a dark brown stem, but I don't have that brown because that's in another project right now and I'm already, already using it and I don't want to cut it and have to make a knot. So I just have a small um, tan color one that I'm just going to put on top just to show you what it's going to look like. So for this, you're going to start with a chain two. So you make a slip knot, wrap it around two fingers, come up underneath back over and then between your fingers and then just pull your finger off to make a slip knot or however you make slip knots. And then we're going to chain two, just wrap around the hook. And I just got that frayed. We'll try that again. Wrap around. And then I hold my yarn different from how everybody else does theirs, but just wrap around, pull through, wrap around and pull through and you've got two chains. We are now going to single crochet seven stitches in the second loop from the hook. So you're just gonna go in. So you have two loops on there, wrap around, pull through one, wrap around and pull through and you've done a single crochet. So I'm gonna do that six more times. And six and then you're going to slip knot or slip stitch into the first one so one two three four five do I have seven one two three four five six one more I gotta do one more so I have to have seven all together in there so I'm just going to go underneath these two loops which is your V on top so you have those on there wrap around go underneath and then pull it back through that loop and you have your slip stitch. So the, you have a circle. Now what I'm going to do is single crochet two into each of the seven to have 14. So I'm gonna chain one to build up and then I'm gonna go back underneath that V and I'm going to put two single crochets in there and then I'm gonna do that all the way around
Okay, so I've got the 14 in there, so I'm going to slip stitch on that first one that I did. So underneath, wrap my yarn around, pull it through that, and then through that other loop. So there is round two that I have done. And now round three, you're going to chain one, and then underneath that same loop, we're going to do one single crochet, and then the next stitch, you're going to put two single crochets in there. And two. And I'm going to do that all the way around, then I'm going to have 21 stitches. And I'll probably speed this up in there. So one. Oops. Try that again. I got a little bit of a snag on there. So one in there. Two in the next. So I've just done six or six single crochets there. So now I'm back to the one and then two. So I'm going to do that all the way around until I get back to the other side. Okay, so I have my last two that I'm going to do. So just one single crochet and then two. So I have 21 single crochets all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch to the first single crochet I did. And there's round three. Now round four, you're going to do a single crochet in the first two stitches and then the third one you're going to add two so you'll have four stitches all together so chain one and that same one that you slip stitched to slip stitched to do one single crochet and then the second one do one single crochet in the third one you'll do two single crochets And so now you have four that you've just done. So I am going to speed this up until I get around to the other side. I'm at the last three stitches so I'm going to do one single crochet, one single crochet, and then that last stitch there I'm going to put two single crochets in, and then I'm going to slip stitch to this first one, not the one that I did this, the chain one on. So I'm going to go underneath the two there, Wrap around, pull through, and then pull through. So there is round four. There's 24 single crochets around. Now this is the last one that we're going to increase. This is round five. So we're going to chain one, and then one in that one that we just did a slip stitch to. One single crochet, and then the next two we're going to do a single crochet. So there's three. And then the fourth one, we're going to put two in. So we've got five single crochets. So now we're just going to go all the way around and do that. Do three single stitches, and then the fourth one, add two, cro or two single crochets in there. So I'm going to speed that up. So I'm 
back to the last four um, stitches. So we're going to do three single crochets. There's one, two, three, and then this last one we're going to put two. And then we're going to slip stitch to that first one we did. And we have five rounds, so 35 stitches. And then rounds six through 11, we're just going to continually go around the 35 stitches for the next uh, five rounds so we're going to do that i am going to stop the video once i get to around 11 i will come back but what you're going to do you're just going to build up chain one on each one start in that same one you slip stitch to and then just go all the way around each stitch until you get back around to the beginning so once i get all those done i'll be right back all right, so I finished the 11, 11th round. As you can see, it just kind of forms a bowl. So we're gonna slip stitch back into that first stitch. And now we're going to do decrease rounds. We're gonna do four rounds um, to decrease. So we're gonna chain one to build up the row. And then we are going to single crochet in the first three, including that one we just slip stitched. So three single crochets, one, two, and three. And now to decrease, you're going to go into the first one, wrap your yarn around the hook, pull it through, and then don't finish it off, go into the next chain underneath, wrap around, and now you have three chains on your hook, or three loops on your hook, wrap around and pull through all three, and there's your first decrease. So we're gonna single crochet in three, And now decrease, so go underneath that V-stitch, wrap around, pull it through, don't finish it off, go into the next one, wrap around, pull through, three loops on your hook, wrap around, and pull through. We're going to do that all the way around. Stitches, so we're going to chain or single crochet three, one, two, three, and then two together or decrease so it's in there, three on your hook, your hook, and pull it through. So now we're back down to 28. Um, single crochets around so we're going to slip stitch underneath that first one and that was round 12 so we decreased <clears throat> for round 13 we are going to chain one to build up the row single crochet into the first two stitches so one two and then decrease the next two together. So underneath that chain, wrap around, pull through, underneath the next one, wrap around, and you've got three on the hook, and there. So I'm gonna do that all the way around, and I'll come back in a minute. 
All right, so I just finished that. I'm going to slip stitch. So with that decrease, we are down to 21 stitches around. So this round, 14, build up one, so chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, and then two together. One, two. So it's just one single crochet, two together. I'm at my last three stitches, so single crochet one, and then two together, and then slip stitch. And I'm going to pull that loop up just so I don't lose the stitch, and then I'm going to stuff the pumpkin. I just pull out a big old wad of it and just kind of fluff it around and then stuff it in there. Grab some more and then just stuff it in. And I just kind of smush it in together. Get my loop back there. Pull my yarn back, make sure my hook's in there so I don't lose the, the loop. And then for this last round of decrease, we chain one, go into that first one, and then the next one, so we're, we're going to decrease all the way around. So there's the first two, and then under, leave it on your hook, go into the next one. That's two stitches. Three. And four. I want to have seven stitches left. There's five we just did. Six, and then the last two, All right, so we have seven. So that hole I will sew up, but what we're going to do is take out quite a bit of yarn we can have to make the indents in the pumpkin. To finish off that stitch so it doesn't come undone, you're just going to do a slip stitch, wrap your yarn around, and then just pull it all the way through and tighten the stitch. And then I'm going to add more stuffing into it. So then I have my big tapestry needle. Oops, not that. I'm gonna take the end of the yarn, thread it through, and now I just kind of go in and around the stitches 
just pick up the loops and I just kind of pull it through just to kind of tighten up the circle. Make sure the stuffing stays in there. And then I'll just thread it through And then just to secure it, go through the loop and to tighten it down. Now to make it with the little indents in there, take your needle, go through the center and just poke it through. And then the starting circle where you've made the, the chain two and um, single crochet seven in there, just pull that through the middle. And I just kind of pull it tight and then we're just going to wrap it around and I just kind of hold it go back through the other center you just kind of stick it in the middle poke it through and have it come back up through that center pull it through and I just kind of pull it tight and then wrap it around on the opposite side poke it through, have it come up through the middle again, pull it tight, and then I'm going to wrap it around this way, back through the center, up through the middle. See, I'm going to have excess yarn, so pull it through tight, and then just go right across back to the other side, down through the middle, back up through the other side. All right, and then just kind of give it a nice tug. So now we have the four. We're going to split each of those in half, so wrap it around. Go back through the middle. Sure it's coming up through the other side. Pull it through. Give it a nice good tug. Go right across to the other one. needle back down through and I kind of go off center a little bit so I don't go back through the center to pull it back through I'm just kind of poke it in there let it come out wherever on the other side pull it through give it a nice good tug and then I put it back into the center not where I pulled it up out of back through the middle on the other side and then I'll pull it through tight And then as I have it held tight, I'll just snip it. And then the stem, that'll be there. That goes right, I'll just kind of, that's just kind of my center point. And I just put there and I will hot glue the stem on so it stays. Some of them I'll be making leaves with and maybe adding some other stuff to it. But that is how you make a crocheted pumpkin. All right, so there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Um, like I said, I am obsessed of making these. I grabbed some of my thick and thick and quick easy yarn, as I call it, to do this one. So it's thicker stitches as opposed to the little little itty bitty one there. And then I added a leaf to that with the stem. And then the one that I really like is the plaid one. So I did it in the dark brown, tan, and then cream, which it's really kind of washed out with the light on there. And then I added the little leaf to it and then a brown stem. But I really like this. I'm going to do a gray, black, and white one 
next. And then I grabbed this from Hobby Lobby. It's called Yarn Bee and then Dazzling. So it's just got the little fun in there and it kind of makes it look like a confetti type pumpkin, but I'm going to do one like that too. But I'm obsessed with the pumpkins. I'm going to share a little video here um, of how I've got them displayed downstairs. And there are just some of the pumpkins that I made. And the light ones over there. And then just an area with my fall decor. And then I put the Dollar Tree cotton stems in my vases. I grabbed some different filler in there, took the red out that was in there, and just added those in. And there's just some of the areas that I put those pumpkins that I'm obsessed with. And then over on my bookshelf, I have just a stack of three that I just did put stems on the uh, gray and the green one and just stacked them up that way. And there, so I'm having fun with these. I'm gonna be making some more. I have a few that I'm gonna make to take to my friend when I go to Ohio this weekend. And yeah, so I'm gonna head off here now. I'm gonna go do some more crocheting. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great day and remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye guys.